Good morning. Welcome to the Katie Speaking Live True Podcast. Today we're taking a little break for some joy. <laughs> it's a Monday and whether you're listening to this on a Monday or not, I want to hear from you. So let me know if you're watching. Let me know where you're watching from and what brings you joy. So this morning it's raining and storming here in uh, middle Tennessee. I'm actually in Brentwood, Tennessee right now, charging up my Uber rental. Uh, it's a Tesla. And so we've got to take some time to charge it on the regular. Um, but it's, I was like, Oh yeah, I have, I plan to do my morning routine, which is to spend some time with the Lord. I listened to a lot of audio from the Bible this morning. I was in first Peter, um, and started second Peter really good practical advice for abiding in the Lord and actually gave a whole list of things to do and things to avoid doing. And um, so it just reminded me while I was sitting here, just thinking, praying about the podcast today, um, some things that came up that I wanted to just inspire you with is just to spend some time being thankful. Um, you know, whatever's going on in your life right now, just spend some time being thankful and you could just list it out. Um, in 2018, when my husband was really sick with an autoimmune disease, like could not function at all, I started writing down three things in the morning and night that I was thankful for. And I called it my miracle journal because I felt like everything was absolutely wrong. Like my mindset in 2018 was I was in such a hard place and I couldn't see anything right. And so if that's where you're at, I just want you to know, like, you are not alone in that. And there are things that became habits for me that helped me get out of that place. And one of them was thankfulness. So um, I have this journal that I use now. It's, I got it on Amazon. I've been using the same format for a couple of years. It's called, um, it's from Francis Jonah. It's called Harvest of Answers Prayer Journal. Harvest of Answers Prayer Journal. And in it, there's a section for Thanksgiving. There's a section for intercession, petition, and then take, keeping a record of when were those prayers answered, how were they answered, and ideas received in prayer, messages received in prayer. So some of those are for the future, but some of them are from right now. The one that I'm focusing on right now is Thanksgiving. So I was just writing my list. Just write a list of what you're thankful for. So I'm thankful my husband is home today. He's not on a work trip today. He's home and he is well. He's doing really well. And I'm so thankful for the sweet times with our sons. Um, last night we watched a really, really interesting movie. I don't know if I'd recommend it. It's actually called Anastasia, but it was pretty scary actually. But just writing down that, you know, remembering that time with our sons last night was just like really sweet. And then really good food. I love really good food. It makes me feel good. And in this season of my life, I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking I want to live to be 126 years old. So what are the habits that I need to cultivate to get there and to be fully functional until I'm 126 and Jesus calls me home? <laughs> so writing down that I'm good food, that's something else I'm thankful for. And then um, my health, access to new ideas, my purpose and joy. I'm thankful for all of those things. And so I just want to take a moment and inspire you. What are you thankful for? What brings you joy that you can write down right now? I would love for you to share it in the comments. Well, in addition to that, we are in a series from my daily prayer journal as a teenager. And I'm just amazed at how God gave me so much wisdom as like this 13 year old girl. So we're on July 30th, if you're following along in the book, and if this is your first time hearing about the book, um, it's called Katie's seventh grade prayer journal. It's a Amazon bestseller, two time bestseller on Amazon. Thanks to my wonderful friends and clients who have, um, get left reviews and stuff like that. So we're just going to go ahead and be inspired by July 30th and this book. And you'll see that like there's this amazing habit of joy and gratitude that I was cultivating as a 13 year old that still applies today. So may this inspire you. I also complain about some people, so <laughs> keep it real. <laughs> All right, dear Lord, I'm writing this while watching commercials during the Olympics in Barcelona. It was 1992. My favorite sport in the Olympic is gymnastics and they keep showing a little bit of the competition and then they say they'll play more later but I hate that it takes forever anyway I talked to mom and she said she wants 
to give me 5 million hugs when I get home from New Mexico. I asked her if she talked to my friend Rachel about meeting me at the airport. She said she hadn't talked to her yet. So I gave mom Rachel's number. She said she'd call her. I really hope Rachel's at the airport in San Diego when I get there. And I hope Daniel Alexander, my latest crush, is there too. I asked mom if there was a chance, any chance, Daniel would be there. Maybe he'll be with his mom, Susan, too. Anyway, mom didn't think they'd be there. You know, I'm really thankful to be going home. This time, day after tomorrow, I'll be sitting on our new couch, maybe talking to Rachel and goofing off. I can't wait. When I started writing this paragraph, I wasn't very excited about it. But now that I think about it, I am. Thank you for the dream I had last night. I'm not sure what it was about, but it made me feel really good. A man, someone I trusted and really loved, was just holding me in his arms. He was just comforting. I felt as if he really loved me and I really loved him. It's as if he... Like I could really feel his warmth and love toward me. I don't know who he is, but I love him. Ugh, I'm being interrupted. Ugh, I feel like I'm going to kill my grandma right now. She keeps getting on my nerves so bad sometimes. She must have interrupted my writing. Anyway, Lord, please protect everyone I know and help me have a good night's rest. In Jesus' holy blessed name I pray. Amen. Amen. Side note, I found out that my husband, who does give him hugs was in Barcelona at the Olympic Games when I was writing this journal entry so we're about seven years apart um, so he was on a mission trip in Barcelona at the Olympic Games and here I was like having a dream about somebody I didn't know who like was super loving and praying for my future husband I'm just amazed I'm just amazed this is why you have to journal your prayers <laughs> well let's get a little inspiration from scripture shall we I'm going to turn to the back of the book and today we're going to talk about Ezekiel 36 6 which is that God will give you a new heart wow am I glad that I focused on this through the summer because over and over again this summer I have had a heart that was just hurting and I have had to forgive some people again and again and again and I'm just going to be honest, that was hard. It was really hard. But God's love softens hearts. That's truth number three from the book. So if you have the book, I'm in the very back under prom truths God taught me through this book. And Ezekiel 36.26 oh no, 36, says this. And I have a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart, and I will give you a tender, responsive heart. That is a promise. God's love softens hearts. Well, friend, I hope that this has encouraged you and boosted your joy today, that you will remember God's many blessings to you and write them down. Write them down. Um, just a side note for those who are watching um, before August 19th, on August 19th, I'm speaking on a virtual summit. It's called For Her Breakthrough, and I would love to see you there. It's for those who are supporting others who have gone through trauma or who um, need healing themselves. So that's August 19th. It's called For Her Breakthrough. It's on Eventbrite. And I hope you will join me for that event. Um, it's going to be amazing. There's actually, I think there's like 12 speakers, quite a few. But I'm speaking Saturday, August 19th at 9 o'clock Central Time. Um, we might start actually the intros at 9. So I think it's at 9.30. And I'll be talking about key elements of rape recovery, how to heal from rape recovery and support those who have been raped to heal and recover. I hope you'll join me then. Send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. Katie at katiespeaking.com. Um, that's for email. Um, but you could always just comment wherever you're watching this. All right, friend. Look forward to seeing you soon. And join me. Don't forget to join me August 19th on the For Her Breakthrough Summit at Eventbrite. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.